My name is Lee Quinones, and I'm a painter living and working here in New York. Um, you know, at that time, is you know, you're so excited and, uh, you know, packed with a lot of energy and ideals and stuff. You know, they're all young people want to change the world, but don't necessarily know the, the moving parts of it. So, you know, you see something, you're excited, and you move to do it. But uh, it only takes 30, maybe 50 years to look back and say, oh, shit, you know, maybe this was happening in my life. And that's what led me to, you know, magnet, you know, bring that, bring the magnet effect of, you know, getting attached, plumbed into that system that was happening. Meaning, you know, like, oh, wow, you know, I'm now part of this group, this bigger group of painting uh, that's, um, you know, having this subliminal message in a way, even though it's blatantly in your face, there's still a subliminal message that I was really attracted to between writers, you know, at that time, and, you know, perfecting and rebuilding yourself, constructing yourself uh, right. as, a, as, a, as an anonymous and yet famous figure in, 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 the, in the eyes of many painters at that time, you know. Well, it's surely a serial thing, you know. Uh, you're doing it consistently so that you can be, you know, uh, you know, you got to be persistent so that you can stay consistent. And, and then that leads to people really looking at your work more closely, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I mean, it's pure drilling at that time. You know, you're on a very tight window of time. Um, you're in the dark. Uh, you know, you're against all municipalities and uh, against uh, many hands pointing at you, uh, but you're still in the dark. And what comes out the next day, like, it, there's no different from that point in the train yards or in the tunnels uh, than my studio now. You know, where my work is, is, it's in its own private moment with me. We're having a conversation back and forth, and I'm looking forward to having uh, the, 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 the grand red carpet presentation so that people can then take the work and, and, and work with it, take my work and work with it. And uh, so that's the feeling that I felt back then and the same feeling that I feel now that, you know, I always feel that my work is relevant to, um, you know, people's, uh, you know, their issues, their, their dreams, their nightmares, whatever, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a human condition thing, so mm -hmm. it's all good. No, I, I think they were reluctant, obviously, because as a parent myself now, I'd be like, wow, you know, if my child at 14 years old was, you know, telling me I'm going painting, mom, I'll be back, you know, I'd be like very much spooked all night. I don't think my mother slept one wink every one of those nights. There were thousands of those nights. So, you know, you can imagine she, you know, she, she apparently would put her hands together and praise to her, her Lord. To, to, to protect me and I just put my hands together I'm like yo I'm going I'm going to go and paint a new masterpiece tonight but I'm going to also respect my elements my environment and the way I practitioned this craft so that I can do it again safely and for her and but also to do it again so that I have another platform to work with another presentation in other words doing it again and again and again because, you know, in a city like this, things get kind of like, you know, washed away in the wash very quickly. And you have to be very consistent. I think everybody's kind of soul searching. And, you know, maybe in retrospect, they're like thinking, okay, you know, we were a group. Like Kaz said earlier, we were a group mentality. And now I think where, you know, cats like I, uh, who have still been painting on canvas for the last 30 or so years, um, are, you know, we're concerned with a more intimate, closer look to individuals, a solo thing. And um, um, I speak for myself that I'm interested more in a solo thing because I know I have a lot to say that kind of like uh, broadens the channels, you know, and, and it, it's not just my conversation, but it's our conversation, you know. And, um, but I want to do it in a way that I can be more focused and more uh, in touch with it be on its level. And, you know, the influence is still, to me, is the world around us, you know. I mean, back then, everything had to be done very quickly. 
you know, very short windows of time. Everything was under high extreme pressure, like you mm -hmm. could never imagine. Mm -hmm. You know, you couldn't write that. You couldn't, you couldn't really put it in a film the way what I went through. You know, but you know, my influences was a lot of advertising, and of course, a lot of the music and the subliminal messages that come from music that that feed into what I'm already percolating on, and then it comes out. So it's something that you can't really describe as like you know, textbook. Like this is the actual influence and stuff. And the same thing goes with today. You know, there's a lot of going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, I think people more, more now than ever are interested in politics. I am. I've always been interested in politics. I'm always interested in what makes that clock tick, you know, and how it affects ultimately your community, your, your state, your city, the country, the world, you know. And I think that people... Artist, visual artist, uh, you know, uh, uh, MCs, you know, musicians, uh, you know, poets, and you know, actors, you know, all these elements that broke off, that had to break off, would break off, um, are, are still looking at that, at that, at that feeding, that that feeding fountain mm -hmm. that's always being filled, you know. So there's like an abundance of material there that's raw, and it's true, and it's real, it's right to the gut. And you have to be in touch with that as an artist. That's your responsibility. My work is in various museums around the world, including here in New York. Uh, not in a big, splashy way as of yet. Um, I like to think that young people and older people um, that have been young at one time would look at the work and say that that, that was the, that was the, uh, the visual spoken word for what was relevant to me and, and my people, you know, and a people, you know, as a country. I like to think that this movement will be embraced as a real serious movement. Not everybody makes it to the, to the ball, you know, not everybody gets the date because every movement throughout art history has gone through that editing process. You know, you, you shuffle that, that, that net over the water and you're looking for those nuggets and they're there. They're there within the sand and the other rocks and, all the other debris as you pick it up, and you 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 shovel through it, and you and you shift it around, and and then you see that glitter, and that little that little hint of glitter, and that beacon comes out, and that north star comes out, and those three kings come out, boom, then you have something uh, that um, has something to say, and you know an art movement will always have something to say. It's always transcending. It's never like just locked in one incubator of one time. It goes beyond that.